Hello everybody, this is Hervé Ballot. Welcome to this uh, time to open our hearts and our minds to the infinite. Yoga is an ancient science of self and God realization. Yoga is a Sanskrit word meaning oneness, union or unity. It refers to the bringing together of our attention and our awareness to abide on trust in our own essential spiritual nature. Yoga is knowing studying, making experience of a spiritual nature and living in harmony with it. Let's begin today a series of speeches given by Paramahansa Yogananda in the 50s where he can express all his verve, his uh, joy, his uh, humor and it's a real pleasure to uh, listen to the Master. So let's open this series of podcasts. Good listening. And that reminds me of my experience when I was once coming from New York to Los Angeles dressed this way. A movie actor was sitting in front of me. He was extremely disgusted with my long hair and this robe. He was openly sarcastic. But I was highly amused. I knew to be angry with him would be childish and to let him go on being angry was also foolish, so I thought of healing him. I said, pardon me, why do you make such a face? He said, none of your business. I said, of course it's my business because every time I look ahead I have to see your face. <laughs> so he started laughing. He said, what an audacious person you are. I said, we will understand each other in a little while. I said, you know, in this world, we are all a little bit crazy and we don't know it. <laughs> Because crazy people of the same kind mix with the same kind of crazy people. And I tell you, I know about your craziness. And if I were crazy like you, you would like me. And if you were crazy like I am, then we would like each other. But the thing is this, I know about your craziness, but you don't know what kind of craziness I have. And fools argue and wise men discuss. Let us discuss, and if at the end of the discussion, constructive discussion, I lose, I will follow you and be a movie actor. <laughs> and I said, if you lose, you follow me. So we had a two hours discussion and at the end of two hours he lost and I won and I was saved from being a movie actor. <laughs> the thing is, that's one of the greatest things Master said, that we are hypnotized by our environment and we can't see anything beyond the horizon of our experience. Let us now prepare and direct towards our daily meditation. Sitting comfortably with back upright without leaning, shoulders get down low and relaxed, nape of the neck long but without tension, gaze to the third eye, the kutashta, the yin time for Chinese, tongue in Arda Keshari Mudra, pointing gently on soft palate. Let us go our breathing to its natural rhythm without controlling it. Now, let's get inside. Let's open our hearts and our minds to the infinite, to pure consciousness, omnipresence. One life, one presence, one power, one unique reality that is called by many names. Consciousness, God, Lord, Ishvara, Allah, Jehovah, Rama, Satamanaha. Experiencing as you, as me, as everyone and everything that is in the universe. This reality is the source, the support and the substance of all that is. We are immersed in it. It is in us, around us, between us. We acknowledge that right here, where we are right now, this reality is fully present. Let us recognize and remember that we are like waves on the surface of this ocean 
of divine consciousness. When we meditate, we return our attention and awareness to abide in that oneness consciousness, recognizing our essential nature. Let's simply move our attention from the periphery of our awareness into the depth of ourselves. Let's put our attention and awareness back at the core of our being, back as waves return to the ocean. Let's become aware of our breath. You see, notice its natural flow without controlling it. Producing inhalation, exhalation, breathing in, chant the mantra Hong, breathing your attention within to the energy that goes up, breathing out, so let's go any thought or concept of separation. Observe and leave thoughts and feelings rising and move into the mind and pass away without listening to them anymore. Whenever thoughts, physical sensations in the body or noises in the environment might distract your attention gently, turn back to the observation of the mantra Hong So. Hong, breathing in, the energy gets up. So Let us now detach our attention from mantra and the movement of energy, prana, chi. Take consciousness of your physical body, of its contact and mass on the ground. Breathe deeply in, then a profound whisper. Peace emanates from the essence of our being and pervades the mental field our emotional nature and our physical bodies. When we carry this portable place with us, 
anywhere we go, like said Paramahansa Yogananda, slowly, gently, when you're ready, open your eyes. As we abide in this peace now, let it overflow as blessing for all beings everywhere. Let your inner light shine into the world and remember to bring in the silence of your heart peace and joy to all that you meet. Namaste. Mm-hmm.